Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming in. I'm Monty Zwieben. I'm the CEO of Splice Machine. A couple of words about myself. I started my career as an artificial intelligence researcher for NASA and co-ran their lab at NASA Ames here in Mountain View. And later then started a few software companies. Probably the best known one was Blue Martini Software, which was a big data company many, many years ago before people really called it big data. And what I'd like to do today in the next five minutes is just tell you a few stories, three stories. And I guess the, the first story has to do with Hadoop. And many of you know who, what Hadoop is, many of you have used Hadoop, but I first found out about Hadoop when I was on the Carnegie Mellon uh, Dean's Advisory Board at the School of Computer Science. Still serve on that board. And the uh, Dean was very excited about Hadoop. And it clearly was going to become a basis of the research program at Carnegie Mellon. And since then, Hadoop has really matured in being a platform that everybody in the world is experimenting with. It's a true disruptive platform in that what used to take PhDs to do, which is get a thousand computers to do something meaningful, now an average Java programmer could do and rent computers on Amazon. So that's truly disruptive, but it really won't be ubiquitous until something changes. And that's because there really aren't that many Java programmers out in IT America in the Global 2000 to be able to program MapReduce. And before Hadoop can become ubiquitous, the story is that it has to be de deployed on something that everyone knows. And we believe that's SQL. So the first story that you'll hear about in a longer talk later in the day is how Splice Machine is delivering on the promise of Hadoop, massively scalable distributed computing, but with a technology that everyone knows and have embraced for years to be able to use your existing tools, your existing applications, as well as your, your existing people to be able to capture that power of Hadoop, but with SQL. The second story I want to tell you about is a story that's been inspired by a company whose board I sit on. That's Rocket Fuel. Many of you have heard of Rocket Fuel. Rocket Fuel is talking at this conference tomorrow. Um, they're a, a big data artificial intelligence firm that is optimizing advertising, um, all forms of digital app advertising. And being on that board really inspired me to see what the next set of requirements are for uh, big data applications. And it wasn't just scale like what Hadoop provides. It's real time. It's being able to um, handle hundreds of thousands to millions of decisions every second. And to be able to do that at pet petabyte levels, that's a new type of requirement. Being able to not just take a boatload of data, stick it in some batch process, crunch on it overnight and discover some insights, but more importantly, be able to make decisions, take action, interact with people, be able to populate web pages in milliseconds with decisions that are made on petabytes of data. That really inspired us at Spice Machine, and what we've done is build a real-time SQL engine on Hadoop. And so how is this going to be used, the third story? How is this going to be manifested in today's marketplace? I'll tell you one story about one of our customers. This is a marketing services customer, billion dollar provider of marketing services to retailers around the world for a variety of marketing services. One of the marketing services they provide is email and, and um, direct mail campaign management. They do so for retailers such as PetSmart and Sephora. Well, they have a huge, huge amount of data to manage and they need to react in real time to the campaign responses that are coming in. Their existing environment is a Unica campaign management system by IBM powered by an Oracle database and they just can't scale today affordably with that kind of architecture. So what they're trying to do now is replace their Oracle rack system with the splice machine SQL on Hadoop database. And so let me just close with this very short five minute talk and invite you to come to a much longer, more comprehensive discussion uh, today at 4 p.m. in room C205, where you'll hear about 
the only real-time transactional SQL on Hadoop database that moves the big data discussion from analysis to real-time applications. With that, I, I thank you very much, and I hope to see you later in the day.